Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Man United are willing to pay 107 million for Victor Oshiman. Reports from Italy suggest Victor Oshiman is at Napoli. He's been at Napoli since 2020. Napoli got him from Lille for a club record fee of 70 million euros. Um, it rised up to 80 million euros with add ons. Before Victor Ashiman was at Chalaroy and before then was at Wolfsburg. He is under contract with Napoli until 2025. Chelsea have also been linked with Victor Oshiman. I uh, just want to give you some news regarding Harry Kane. Harry Kane urged against move. Manchester United, I presume, will go in for Harry Kane in the summer. He is going to cost more than £100 million. Not so long ago, City tried to get him for £100 million. Tottenham rejected it. By the way, Harry Kane is Tottenham's all-time leading goal scorer. He's got 200 goals in the Premier League. He got his 200th Premier League goal in the 1-0 win against Manchester City at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Kane has been at Tottenham for a long time. He's been at Tottenham for nineteen years. Joined Tottenham's Academy in two thousand and four and he broke into Tottenham's senior squad back in twenty eleven. He is under contract with Tottenham until twenty twenty four. He has won the Golden Boot quite a few times. Before, Harry Kane had loan spells with Millwall, Leighton Orient, Norwich and Leicester. So that's the news regarding him. Now, Leeds have sat manager Jesse Marsh ahead of back-to-back -back games with Manchester United. Uh, the reasons Leeds have sat Jesse Marsh is because of a bad run of form and that defeat to Nottingham Forest yesterday. You know, I do presume the vast majority of Leeds fans will be happy with this. Uh, Jesse Marsh was in charge of Leeds for just under a year. He was under contract with Leeds until 2025. He did get appointed in as the Leeds manager back in February last year. Um, before... Jesse Marsh managed RB Leipzig. He was also the assistant coach at RB Leipzig. <coughs> he managed Red Bull Salzburg before, managed New York Red Bulls and Montreal. He has won trophies before. Last season, Leeds sat Marcelo Bielsa. Uh, he was a better manager, Bielsa, than Jesse Marsh. You know, Bielsa won Leeds a championship. 
It was their first trophy in 28 years and in his first season in the Premier League as Leeds manager, Bielsa got Leeds a ninth place finish. So there you go. But um, earlier on today, I give you the preview for the Man United Leeds game at Old Trafford. Also give you my predictions. Obviously, I did them videos before it got officially announced that Jesse Marsh had been sacked. You know, Man United do play Leeds twice in the space of a week you know Leeds have really struggled this season you know the 17th in the league so they're near the relegation zone they're just above the relegation zone on goal difference Leeds have only won four games in the league this season Leeds have only won one of their last 10 league games so that justifies how bad they've been. And Leeds lost yesterday to Nottingham Forest 1-0. It was a very good volley, to be fair, by Brennan Johnson. Uh, the players Leeds have got, uh, they've got Junior Firpo. Don't rate him at all. Leeds got him from Barcelona. Maximilian Wober. Uh, not so long ago, Leeds got Weston McKenney on loan from Juventus. Leeds do have the option to buy him for £30 million at the end of the loan. Weston McKenna came on and made his debut against Forest. He'll probably play a part in this game. Uh, Leeds got Diego Monteiro not so long ago from Servet. He's an academy player. They got Rutter, who's made an impact. Wilfred Nonto. Leeds got him from FC Zurich. He's done well. Uh, Rodrigo. He's going to be missing the game. Well, he's going to be missing both games against Man United because he's out with injury. Rodrigo is a key player for Leeds. Leeds did get him from Valencia. Uh, Bamford, um, one of the best players Leeds have got. Um, he scores goals, does Bamford, but Leeds now has reservations about him because he is injury prone. Leeds got him from Middlesbrough. Somerville. He's a young player. He's now in the Leeds first team before he was in the under-23s. Sam Greenwood, good young player. Jack Harrison. Don't forget at one point he enjoyed three loan spells with Leeds and then obviously Leeds got him permanently. Leeds got him from Man City. You know, Liam Cooper, don't rate him at all. Um, he's just come back from injury. Stuart Dallas, you know, he's out with injury and he's a key player for Leeds. Pascal Stroik. Luke Ayling is a good centre-back. Um, he used to play very well alongside Alioski when Alioski was at Leeds. Adam Forshaw, he's injured at the moment, but he's not first choice. He hasn't been first choice for a while. Robin Koch, he played no part in the game against Nottingham Forest because he was suspended.
you know, the goalkeepers, Leeds, have got uh, Mayele, he's their first choice keeper. Second choice keeper is Joe Robles. And third choice goalkeeper is Christopher Klassen. Uh, so they're the goalkeepers I've got. Um, as you all know, I like Luis Sinistera. He's made an impact. Mark Rocker leads got him from Bayern Munich. Brendan Aronson. Uh, Tyler Adams. I think he's just come back from injury not so long ago. So they're a lot of the players that Leeds do have. Uh, don't forget, Leeds have let players go. They recently loaned Diego Lorenti out to Roma. They loaned Joe Gellhart out to Sunderland. Now, Joe Gellhart is a good young player. Leeds initially got him from Wigan. Uh, they let Matthias Klitsch go. Leeds made the right decision that letting him go because he lost his place in the team. Uh, a few years ago, they let Alioski go. Uh, they lost Rafinha and Calvin Phillips. They got around £80 million for Phillips and Rafinha. Phillips went to City from Leeds. You know, Phillips obviously isn't first choice at City, but he's earning a lot more money at City than he was at Leeds. And Rafinha obviously went to Barcelona from Leeds. So obviously they're the place... Players Leeds have lost. Like I said, Man United have done transfer business with Leeds before. Obviously, a lot of years ago, got Rio Ferdinand off them. Got Eric Cantona off them. Uh, and Alan Smith left Leeds a long time ago to come to Man United. Leeds have done transfer business with us. Don't forget, a while ago, they got Daniel James off us. They paid £25 million. Uh, obviously, James is no longer at Leeds. He's on loan at Fulham. Uh, Manchester United beat Leeds at Old Trafford last season on the opening day 5-1. Beat Leeds at Ellen Road last season 4-2. Season before last, Manchester United beat Leeds 6 2 at Old Trafford. Uh, there was a 0 0 game as well between Leeds and Man United. I've got to be honest, in that game, we was poor. Um, Bruno Fernandes got pocketed by Calvin Phillips. Uh, Man United did beat Leeds 4 0 in pre season back in 2019. Uh, beat Leeds 3 0 in the League Cup back in 2011. Uh, the last time Leeds beat Manchester United was in the FA Cup third round back in January 2010. It was 1-0. Jermaine Betford scored. Don't forget, Leeds were out of the top flight for 16 years. They got relegated in 2004, then obviously came back up in 2020. Uh, Man United, of course, have players missing. Obviously, Eriksen's out until April or early May with an ankle injury. So, obviously, he's going to play no part in this game. McTominay's been out with a knock. Van der Beek, he's out for the rest of the season. Anthony Martial, he's been injured. Uh, Casemiro, as you all know, he's banned for three games. Casemiro got sent off in the game against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. He got sent off for grabbing Will Hughes by the throat. Don't forget Eric Tenag hit out an inconsistent referee and he mentioned that Crystal Palace players should have been sent off. So, yeah. And I'm expecting Marcel Sabitza to make his full Manchester United debut in this game. With obviously Eriksen unavailable and McTominay's being out with a knock. Sabitza came on in the game against Palace at Old Trafford and made his debut. We've got him on loan until the end of the season. Obviously because the in 
dribbler to Christian Eriksen. But yeah, if Man United do beat Leeds on Wednesday at Old Trafford, that will be 14 straight home wins and will go just five points behind Arsenal. Man United are third at the moment. But yeah, Manchester United are coming into this game on the back of a 2-1 win against Crystal Palace at Old Trafford. Uh, Bruno Fernandes scored an early penalty. Don't forget Fernandes scored in the reverse fixture against Crystal Palace. <coughs> and Rashford scored yet again. He tapped in from Luke Shaw's cross. Rashford has now got 19 goals in all competitions this season. He's on fire. Not so long ago, Marcus Rashford got named Premier League Player of the Month for January. Uh, Crystal Palace scored a late goal from Jeffrey Schlupp. Um, by the way, on my next video, I'll be giving you my predicted 11 for this game. Um, you know the news regarding the Glazers. Uh, Takeover bids are expected this week. Uh, there's been interest from US, Middle East and Asia. Uh, the Glazers are unlikely to receive the desired £6 billion to £8 billion price tag. Uh, Sergio Ratcliffe for quite some time has been interested in buying the club. And obviously you already know the news regarding Mason Greenwood. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, like, support on the channel if you do consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless.